Would you go on hot ones and squash the beef? Yes. No. Banger video. By hey, the what's way. going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by John Oliver. Yeah, we are. <laughs> He's the Peabody award-winning host of Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, a show that's won more than two dozen Emmys since premiering in 2014. Catch new episodes Sunday nights on HBO at 11 o'clock Eastern with past episodes canonized rather conveniently right here on YouTube. Oh, John sorry. Oliver, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. As people who don't know, Sean Evans is my mortal enemy. Let Stockholm Syndrome <laughs> commence. <clears throat> I'll be honest. That was hotter than I wanted the first one to be. <laughs> Old school Hassan Abbey heads know the lore. No, this is the one bald guy who I don't immediately fetishize, okay? This might be the only one-sided beef where you're the one with the beef. Yeah, also, it's not real beef, it's a joke. Many, many years ago, when I was a young up and coming content creator, I created a show called The Breakdown on the Young Turks. The show was brought up for an award at one of these like award shows that doesn't exist anymore. I, I forget what it was called. What was it called? I'm doing a lore dump. It's official. Chatters will know. It's not the streamies. It was the shorties or something. I think it was the shorties. This was also the same year or the same award show that flew me in a private jet alongside David Dobrik and many others from Coachella to the award show. I flew in with nothing, literally highest on mushrooms on this private jet. That's where that photo comes from where I'm like looking all freaked out. Yeah, that's where the private jet scandal comes from. The shorties were like, oh, we already have a private jet that we chartered. If you want to fly on that to New York, that'd be great. I was, of course, dead broke as f and thought, yeah, of course I'm going to take the f private jet. Are you crazy? Anyway, I wore my mom's clothes to the show to the red carpet, which the Queer Eye guys loved. And I was up for an award. I was up for bre best new breast, best new like breakout show or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Best new breakout show. I was very excited for it. I had not ever been put up for an award. I thought it was sick. Why do I look alarmed? I'm high as giraffe pussy. Okay. In this. I literally left like Neon Carnival or something and got on this jet high as a kite. I don't recommend it. Did you tell me you were high or not? I don't remember. Anyway, I get there. And basically what ends up happening is I lose. I lost to Sean Evans. Sean Evans won the best new breakout talent segment, whatever the fuck it was called at the time. His show was new and so was mine. And he won. He won over me. This thread is too good. That face when you are spotted on a private jet with your 750k salary. That's from four years ago. I am so high here. This is after Coachella where the shorty awards... Let me hit your ride with the Dobricks to attend the award show and even announce an award in New York three years ago. I lost best new show to the hot ones and my career has never recovered since. Nice meme though. I like that the stalkering never stopped four years uh, ago and it's still the same. It's been four years and these motherfuckers still haven't stopped. Some people found out about the term champagne socials for the first time and now think it's the ultimate lefty destroy because you know someone who's well off can't advocate for a more ethical and fair system. Notice how ma how much things have not changed. Isn't that fun? Oh my God, you're right now. There's new people who essentially believe the jet shit. Christ, I know. The point is, never give up, dude. <laughs> never give up on your dreams. <laughs> this is a four-year-old pose. It's just funny that it's a four-year-old pose. And it was an internal community meme that turned into an external psychopathic thing that people still push for. Hairline looks good here. Thank you. This is probably the first time you've been on r slash Hassan Piker since posting that comment. No, I go on r slash Hassan Piker on my own time. Would you go on Hot Ones and squash the beef? Yes. No. Queso sin queso. I don't know if I'm... Um, if that's a collab I'd encourage. <laughs> But another level of heat, but it seems like you're kind of on top of it. You know, I was a little nervous with the first one, but it does seem like you've caught a rhythm here, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Sean Evans and his team are so good at conducting interviews. Like, you always have to have, like, an autistic research guy, like Nardwar, the human serviette, on your team that will just, like, pull out 
some of the most insane shit that you didn't even know other people knew about yourself. Okay. And I think Sean does a pretty good job with it. Uh, Nardawar obviously is a goat at it. You know, I think he does a great job. <laughs> Vladimir Putin, hot ones. Yeah. Take your time. Right, right. Render a coherent opinion. Make sure you back it up. Don't shoot from the hip. What you're saying is... The walls are closing in and I've pulled the guns. Go. The Go. Muppets. The <laughs> Muppets. Yes. Muppets. Okay. I love the Muppets so much in many ways. Crazy this might sound. We've kind of modeled the show around the Muppets. Um, like those big things that they uh, that did. <laughs> the, you know, the big things the Muppets did. Is it real talk? Sean, shit's got to be crazy. But no. The answer is no. When you eat that much hot sauce, which I don't even think he eats that much hot sauce, but if he were to eat like a shit ton of hot sauce, your body gets used to it. There was a point where I basically was eating um, those like spicy yellow peppers every day. And at first, like for the first week, it's just like your butthole is on fire when you're pooping, but you develop a tolerance. Just like your mouth gets used to it, your asshole gets used to it too. I don't know what the yellow peppers are that I have, but they were really spicy. I forget what it's called. They're not like banana peppers or something. They're not like sweet. The bomb beyond insanity. The bomb beyond insanity. That is just an objectionable thing for humanity to do, right? It's not the worst thing we've ever done, but it's part of our worst instincts. It's really <laughs> terrible, but you've survived it. And it's That's such a funny but stupid thing to say about a hot sauce. <laughs> All right, John. All right. Wow. Okay. So, what's this? Oh, what the hell? We've come this far. <laughs> you do, is that all right? Let me see. I'm not gonna lie, the hot ones, spicy wings, like the wings kind of look busted. Yeah, that's generous. Okay. I'd maybe do one of these. Do, okay. Yeah, <laughs> am I crazy? I'm at a point, to be honest. Where um, I'm not sure I can feel anything anymore. Yeah, right. I feel like a spice. So we're on the other now. side. We're yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Well, cheers, John. What a cheers. run. Cheers, Salu. We did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean. And again, like the last one. Green doesn't suit you. Oh, green with envy. No, I don't have a real. They are Gordon hated them. Vegan wings for this episode. Yeah, I I don't have a real uh animosity towards Sean Evans chatter. Not fun. But it's all behind us. Yeah, it kind of doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore, right? This resets. Your Wait, how do they do vegan wings? Do they put like, is it plastic instead of the bone? Like, how does that work? Body's expectations of what is allowable. The hard part's over, John. Yeah. We just have one more question for you. Yeah. And to do it, I want to kick it back to when we had Trevor Noah in the show. Okay? okay. And he said that the parting words that he received from John Stewart when taking over the show was, Oh, yeah. What? I'm leaving because I'm old and angry, and you're young and happy, so enjoy it while it lasts. Is <laughs> someone who's marinated in... Okay, dude. John Oliver, significantly better talent. I'll just say it. Okay? That is an actual one-sided beef, I guess, that I've I've maintained for years is not it's not sean evans it's uh it's trevor noah trevor noah that's the that's the real one-sided beef wait what dua lipa dude it has nothing to do with dua lipa i mean that's insult to injury sure but that's not the real reason i've told you guys this before a mutual friend of ours when i was at the young turks introduces a soul house west hollywood and he literally just like he snubbed the shit out of me he didn't even like look at me okay he was just like yeah whatever like i remember that okay I remember that forever. He snubbed the f out of me. And it was like 100%. It was just like such a big timer move, which is fine. Like I wasn't, you know, I'm still not a famous person. But back then I was like not even remotely famous. It doesn't even matter if I'm like famous or not. He was just like so rude in general. Okay. Who was the nicest big celeb to you? I guess the nicest one. Nicest big celebrity. Could be John Mayer. I mean, most of the celebrities I've met are very nice, including T-Pain. No, every every celebrity I've met has been very nice. I've never met a celebrity that uh, was like awkward or bad, except for Aiden, Adam Sandler. Yeah, Simi was great. I mean, he's he's dope. Oh, Tobey Maguire was the other one. Yes, Tobey Maguire's studio used to be next to our studio back in the day, and he would rip gars outside in his like little... He had this like metal chair that he 
spray painted gold for some reason. And he would sit outside and smoke cigars outside of his little production studio. Yeah, he definitely was like, he definitely was interesting. I'll say he just had like a bit of attitude sucking on Cubans, dude. Gars, brother, not cigarettes, cigars.